Hey everyone, it's Leroy here with another end of week update. So uh, as of uh, this point in time, our employee uh, case count for COVID-19 is up to 97, so it continues to climb, uh, just as uh, the case count uh, around the world continues to climb. Um, I was just on a call earlier this week with some colleagues from Finland and, and Sweden, and they've talked about how things have worsened in uh, their part of the world. And I think uh, really across the board, that you know, with everything that, that you hear, um, it's happening everywhere, right? So it's just another reminder of, again, the diligence that we all need to deploy to ensure our own personal safety, our family safety, uh, and our colleagues' safety. So uh, on the good news front, right, there's, there was some good news this past week about a potential vaccine uh, in development that uh, looks like it might be just around the corner. Uh, but even with that uh, and the rollout of that, right, it's going to still be several months once they even start before it gets uh, widely distributed. So uh, we're in for, for a long, uh, tough uh, next uh, six months, I think. So we're, we're, again, we have to make sure that we're doing everything we can uh, to follow uh, the guidelines uh, around keeping uh, safe, which is, again, wearing a mask in public, it's keeping our, our uh, social distance, it's washing our hands off, and it's sanitizing commonly used spaces. You know, all those common sense sorts of things uh, that will uh, give us the best opportunity to maintain our safety and our loved one's safety. This past Monday, our culture and engagement team hosted a virtual coffee talk for working parents. Um, they had Caitlin Williams, who is a nationally certified professional school counselor um, specializing in parent education. Um, she was on to uh, to share uh, tips and and, uh, and and engage in Q and A with uh, the folks who were able to participate. So I thank everybody who who was able to get on and uh, take advantage of of that great series. Um, we're going to continue to look for opportunities to do uh, additional coffee talks moving forward. Um, for again the working parents who are dealing with stressful situations. Um, please stay connected on the Working Parents channel of our One Coppers uh, app. Uh, there's uh, plenty of folks out there who are doing a fantastic job in terms of sharing tips, uh, providing support, um, and even having special breakout groups to, uh, to talk about specific situations that, that they might be dealing with as, as, uh, as working parents uh, going through the pandemic. So again, Take advantage of the resources that are there for you, um, and we're doing everything we can to try and uh, support our working parents out there um, so you can keep your sanity during these tough times. Over the last three days, we were able to bring over 120 leaders from around the globe uh, into our virtual Zero Harm Forum. Um, we were hoping to get together this past April uh, in person, but obviously that couldn't work with the pandemic. So we organized uh, three straight days, three two-hour sessions over, over a three-day period uh, to bring that group together to cover a number of different important topics. But really for this year, it was all about getting back to, to, to basics and really defining um, what it means to be a leader uh, in coppers, aligning um, expectations uh, for for our leadership group around the world and uh, it was just a great a, a great uh, a great three days I mean we were able to to talk about leadership IND uh, sustainability um, get into you know the company's purpose and even a little bit of strategy so uh, fun time um, it was great engagement all the way around um, Joe Dowd and, and Dan Groves and their teams did a fantastic job of organizing the conference. So right now, um, we're gonna be looking forward to the feedback from the participants. There will be a Glint survey going out over the next week. Please let us know, again, what, what you thought worked well, where you think uh, we might be able to, to improve moving forward. But you know, I thought it was a great conference and, uh, and it really was great getting to see everybody, at least on the screen. You know, I can't wait until we can all convene uh, together again um, but at least that is, you know, something that will sustain me for a little while moving forward uh, until we can. So uh, thanks for all the participation from everybody. And uh, again, uh, look forward to hearing your feedback. As I close out this week's message, I want to give a shout out to Gail Sharp from our Marlowe UK location, who today on our One Coppers team app reminded everybody that it's World Kindness Day. So in that spirit, I urge everybody to do at least one random act of kindness today uh, for a stranger or, again, somebody you know and love. 
Uh, it could be buying them a cup of coffee. It could be opening the door for somebody. It could be uh, sending a, a note of care and appreciation. Um, the smallest act can make a meaningful difference in somebody's day, in somebody's life. Uh, letting them know that, that you care and that there still is a lot of goodness out in the world. Um, so let's take advantage of that and maybe even use this day here to springboard into some more random acts of kindness as we move forward. So um, thanks everybody and uh, hope you all have a great weekend and uh, look forward to reconnecting again next week. Until then, please everybody continue to stay safe and stay strong.